What has been your biggest financial mistake? <laughs> My ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay. In what way? <laughs> Vacations and, you know, just dinners. Just okay. didn't work out. And so. this is why she's your ex-girlfriend? This is why. Okay. And if you could go back, what would you change? That was a good experience, so yeah. lesson learned. I don't think I'd change much. Lesson learned. So yeah. now just pay for less vacations and dinners? Yeah, stay single. Stay single. Okay, that's the advice. Well, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you. In Miami, we have a ton of options because we're high-valued women. Exactly. High-valued women so because close. you're with high-valued men that made your life way better than it would be shit if it was one dollar. Yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. I got it out! You didn't get it out. You say that every opportunity you get to. And you know what's exactly. cool about being a high value man? You can afford a cameraman and an editor that cuts all that oh, shit out. Oh, 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 like on OnlyFans, you can make so much money from like a few thousand fans. Like if you charge like twenty dollars per fan, and then you have say four thousand. Wait, did I just do that? Eighty thousand dollars. I know Holy a girl shit. that only has thirteen hundred fans, and she makes Before minimum. 16k that's minimum upwards to 50 to 100,000 a month i hate that i've gotten to the age where like when a boy asks me out i have to be like how old are you guys a 20 year old asked me out last night and he's begging to take me out i'm like i'm sorry i'm i'm not doing that yo what's going on with all these guys writing to you in your dm ain't you in a relationship yes i am so who's your man you are so how about you tell these guys that you have a man i did they said fuck you Perfect. Just some further proof that there are two completely different worlds that people are living in. I just went out to dinner with my friend and her boyfriend and a couple of his friends. And I had never met the boyfriend or the friends before. And everybody ordered a Negroni. <laughs> so I was like, oh, nice. Did you get it like Spagliato with Prosecco in it? Nobody said anything. Nobody even answered me. Nobody laughed. No, They had genuinely no idea what I was talking about, which, which to me is wild. The more educated and financially stable a woman is, the least likely she is dateable to most men. A lot of the times we attach, you know, our experiences to our accolades. And I think in real life, a lot of the issue that some of us have as black women, and I can speak from a place of experience, isn't the fact that we're successful, it's the fact that sometimes our energy and our attitude with that success be sh Sorry, yeah. but it's the truth. A lot of the times it's, I don't need this, I don't need that, I'm an independent, da 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 I get my own, that's cool, baby, get your own. They love that in real life, but they still wanna feel Thank like, you. oh, daddy, I love you, daddy, I need you, daddy, I appreciate you. They still wanna feel like that. So I think that sometimes we be so quick to say, you know, I, they mad, mad because I'm getting money, mad because I got a degree, they not mad at that. They want that, they want a partner. They mad at the energy that comes with that sometimes. And I think a lot of the times we need to know the difference between independence and hyper-independence. Yes. Independence, you on your own Hyper-independence is a trauma response. Bingo. TikTok, let me tell you a little story about divorce. Now, shocking enough, I am divorced. My first wife, after having our three sons, decided, you know, it didn't work for her. And so, she wanted a divorce. My response to that was, are you sure? She was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I just need you to help me get on my feet before you, before you let me leave. I'm like, all right, well, you sure? Because there's nothing cute about being a single mom of three kids under the age of 10, especially when you're 30. Well, blah, blah, blah. I've been about some other dude and all that other stuff. And I was like, all right, cool. Now, of course, me being me, I found out who the other dude was because, you know, her phone line was on my bill. All I had to do was see whose number was showing up entirely too much. And I found out exactly who it was. And it turned out that it was somebody that I knew. Yep, we weren't friends. Not nah, wasn't one of my homeboys, but it was somebody that I knew from church. So I called him and I said to him, I don't know what game you think you're playing, but I want to let you know that many a man have lost their life behind fucking with the wrong man's wife. Oh man, you know, I'm just trying to be a friend. I'm like, bro, if we ain't friends, there's no reason for you to ever be friends with my wife. So I made sure that as I exited 
whatever she thought was going to be on the other side was already a wrap because I had him shaking in his little boots. He wasn't shit anyways, but at the end of the day, you want to go after a person who lives at home with their parents because it's the pastor's son, you have fun with that. So we go our separate ways. And of course, after about three, four months, here comes the phone call. Oh, baby, can we just pretend like, you know, this never happened? When I would go pick my kids up, she's trying to be, you know, affectionate and rekindle things. And I'm looking at her like, you lost your mind. Like, <laughs> I was trying to get off you before, but my commitment was to them. And you pissed on that one. So have a nice life. Long story short, she ended up spending the next decade plus living with her parents. Moving my kids from place to place. Trying to make things hard for me because she was unhappy with her own life. Now, the moral of this story is that because women act on emotion, unlike men who act logically, she emotionally jumped out of a situation that kept her guarded, protected, and safe. And went into a situation where she was a child again. And it took her 11 years to become an adult. So now it's 40 you know, stacking, I'm sure, hundred plus thousand dollars worth of child support money because she didn't have any expenses living at her parents' house. She bought a house. 